Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome back to some more Statue Valley. Let's see what's on the TV. Fortune Teller says... The spirits are very displeased today. Oof. Weather report says partially cloudy with a light breeze. All right, all right. Well, hello y'all. Uh Oh, it's that new guy, Andy. Morning, Price. Just dropped by to warn you about these crows flying about. Woke up to see him flocking over my crop field. Had to scare a few off. Hmm, I think your farm is fine. I live right by that there forest, so I get a lot of them roosting in the trees. Darn crows. Oh, I heard one. Ah! Yep, there they are. Darn scavengers. But looks like they aren't nibbling at your crops like they did to mine. It's because I got scarecrows, bruh. Do you mean to make you one? Be a good idea to build more of them scarecrows if you can. Might not be a bad idea to build a few myself. Now go get started. Good luck farming. Nice to meet you, Andy. I guess we probably talked before. Um, it's been a long time since uh, I played on this file. Um, and I just discovered today that I actually have an episode from way before that I never aired. So that will have gone out before this one. But uh, yeah, I thought that was very funny because it was actually, it's going to be released like a month late, but still be from the same session. Okay. <clears throat> Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? All right. Well, thank you, Pierre. So, y'all, uh, yeah, it's been quite a bit since I um, played me some Stardew. Uh, well, this on this file, I've actually played a ton over on the uh, stumped file. Let's see. If I were to put down... More cauliflowers today. Oh, I don't have money. It would be, they would be done on the 29th, which is not actually doable because the 28th is the end of the month. So that makes that decision. Okay. So like I said, I have been playing Stardew over on the file um, with the group over on uh, Stumped Gamers. If y'all aren't subscribed over on Stumped Gamers, what are you doing? Why are you even watching my stuff if you're not watching the main channel stuff? I mean, actually, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for being here. Um... So, uh, this week, I just got back from Amsterdam. Uh, I uh, talked to y'all about that, I believe, before, that Chrissy and I were going to be gone for a little while, and so there was a lot of stuff going into preparing for that, which made it difficult for me to record um, over here on this channel. And so um, I kind of decided to just not um, worry so much about recording right away and focus more on... Um, doing that. And so, yeah, it's been a little bit, but um, I'm excited to jump back into it. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. I looked up some uh, some of the topics that we talked about uh, looking at, so uh, we may get to those in a little bit. But first and foremost, let's do some let's do some water and let's get our stuff done. What, uh, what letter we got here? Hello. Uh, Hey, Price, here's three bags of straw- oh, this is from Andy. Hey, Price, here's three bags of strawberry seeds. These ought to help you during your first season in the valley. Farmers gotta stick together these days. Andy. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and plant them. Oh, you know what? We can even get a little bit of fertilizer for them. We'll still get a couple of uses out of them, and as long as I hold on to one strawberry, we can make seeds of them. We can also buy more seeds, uh, I think, at one of the upcoming events. So I'm not, not too concerned about that. Looks like these are water. Oh, because I have a sprinkler there. Okay. I was like, what's going on with these? Okay. And it looks like these were just our mixed seeds, I'm guessing. Um, it's funny because over on the, the multiplayer farm, you realize, like, when having a group, how much more you get done. Because, like, you're kind of spreading out some of the mundane work. Um, I'm going to need to move this eventually. For now, it's nothing. Oh, why do I have other strawberry seeds? They take eight days, so that'll be on the 24th. Um, and then is it every three days after that? If we do speed grow fertilizer, maybe that'll get us a couple out of it. Um, okay, which one are you? Those are my flowers for Sophia. Let's go ahead and take some of those. Oh, and my inventory is now full because I only have level one inventory. Jeez Louise. So I should focus probably on working towards that. Let's, um, let's go sell our cauliflowers to... Um, Pierre, oh, I do need this gold one, right? I should try my best to get these done. I don't want to, like, totally ruin myself on it. Okay, I need five gold star parsnips. And that's it? I don't need the big cauliflower? I don't need a cauliflower at all? Or did I already do it? Maybe I already did that one. 
Okay. So I need gold star parsnips if I can get them, which shouldn't be too bad. I may get one in there. Um, <clears throat> but I'll do some fertilizer for those and plant a bunch of them. Because, I mean, they'll, they'll give us a turnaround pretty quickly, so it'll be worth it. All right. I got me some lemon tea with honey here um, because I need to stop drinking coffee while I record. Um, just messes with my throat. But also, um, allergies are bonkers right now. The pollen count is higher than like it's ever been here in uh, Tigard, where I'm from. It's just outside of Portland. <clears throat> Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Oh, there it is. This butthead. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Joja Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? Nah. No, y'all, don't do it. You gotta support Pierre. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. <laughs> but can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. I like giving him a super villain voice, you know? Like a villain from like a 1980s Saturday morning cartoon. Like, you know, all of a sudden like, And now my plan shall come to fruition! That kind of thing, right? Like a, like a Power Rangers. It's almost like a Rita. After 10,000 years, I'm free! All right. <clears throat> what do we got here? Sell off all them cauliflowers. I could get a couple of them. Parsnips we can get more of. Let's look at... How much does speed grow? Oof, it's expensive. It is expensive. So is basic fertilizer. So... Ooh. Do I want to buy six of these for the... Yeah, let's do it. And I think what I'll do is we're going to buy a bunch of parsnip seeds. Whole bunch of them. 30 is a good number. Then let's buy some more cauliflower seeds. Nine. Perfect. Just enough. Um, okay. And so we're for now, what I want to do is I want to go around. We're going to chop some trees today and try and get as much sap as possible to make our own fertilizers because then we can... Um, Get as much fertilizer as possible down on these parsnips. So that's going to be the goal, is to try and get either 30 fertilizer, so 60 sap, or to get as many as we can throughout the day. Um, which, because I have the energy regen mod, which I love, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, not as difficult as uh, it has been in the past. Um, I may want to look around for like certain trees to hold on to here. Oh, I need to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Um, so let's do the six. We'll do them right here. We'll do one, two, three, and come on. Eh, one. No, nope, didn't want to do that. Wanted it to be here. I need to do the, uh, hold on. Let's turn on show tool hit location. Such a good one. Such a good one. Okay. Boop. Now this and this. So I could put a sprinkler here if I end up getting one. But let's go ahead and put down our speed grow. And then we will put down our strawberries. So we're hoping to get maybe two out of them. Um, but at least if we get one, you know, we can um, keep a strawberry for seeds for the seed maker. And then we'll probably make back um, a good amount off of even one harvest of strawberries. There's a reason that they don't just give you strawberries in the first season. Um, okay, let's put away some more of this stuff. I'm gonna need a lot of inventory space for all this stuff I'm gonna be getting from out here in the wilds. Um, okay, let's put away these, put away these, put away... No, we're gonna hold on to that, because might as well. Um, I will check my... We'll hold on to that, don't need that. Let's check my relationship with Sophia. We've given one gift, so I got plenty of days to do gifts. We don't need to worry so much about talking to Sophia today. Um, okay, I'm gonna sip my, uh, my, uh, my tea real quick. Hold on a second. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I've just been, like, super congested ever since we got home. Uh, where's my scythe? Um, super congested, super stuffy, super, you know, just, like, because I'm taking so many allergy meds, I'm a little loopy. But, um... Uh... But I'm, I'm fine, I guess I'll just say. If my voice probably doesn't sound as fine as I am. And um, we were, I, I will say, we were a little concerned um, on our way um, out of Amsterdam that we may have caught COVID. So we've actually taken several COVID tests. Um, we took some there. You have to take them in order to fly. <clears throat> but um, also we... Uh, we took some here a couple days after we got home. Chrissy's been taking them almost every day to make sure she can go into the office. Um, so we know it's not that. Um, so, and, and I have no fever or anything like that. So it's like, oh no, this is just some of the worst allergies I've ever had. But uh, it is what it is. I think for y'all over in the other side of the world, it's a hay fever. Is that what y'all call it? The grass pollen and the tree pollen and stuff. Man, it gets me. It hits me hard. And we live right next to a forest is the thing. Uh, so there's so many trees and so many um, things that can, that can get me. So it's kind of like you got to kind of put up with it. So what I was thinking earlier is I might want to keep some of these trees for later tapping. So like I might keep these two maples, this oak, maybe this oak. You know, well, I'll, I'll keep some of them because... You want to have the trees already when the um, once you get the tappers, just to start it right away, because they take so long to tap. Um, and so I'd like to go ahead and get um, as much of that, like leave those there for that, so I'm not having to do that, and um, so I'm not having to like wait on things to grow, and so I don't have to go put them further away in my um, farm. Because I mean, this farm is huge. Um, let's check our map. Let's see if it's the right map. I think it's the right map. Yeah. Um, so you can see it's massive like this. This doesn't even really cover how big it is because I think this map is zoomed out even farther than you might think. But it's huge. It's a huge zone. Maybe this, yeah, maybe uh, maybe this isn't the right map. I think this map didn't load in properly. It happens a lot with these mods, actually, that this map in particular just won't load for me. Um, but it's, it's fine with me if it's fine with y'all. Um, and I don't really use the map too often. Uh, it's mostly just about figuring out in general where people are. Which the positions are still the same. It's just the map doesn't really line up to it. So if you know the original Stardew map well enough, it ain't an issue. Uh, okay. But yeah, so I like this area maybe for trees. You know, we might think about doing all trees here. I should also, if I get the money, I should think about planting a... What's the summer tree? Is it an orange tree or is it a peach tree? Don't remember which one, but I should think about planting orchard trees sooner rather than later. Um, if for no other reason than just to get started on that, and that's two things for a bundle, you know? Do, 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 do. Real quick, let me look at that bundle again. Quality crops, artisan. This must have been fall crops. Animal bundle, fall crops, or I mean spring crops. Um, but what about the crafts room? Exotic foraging, winter foraging, summer foraging, fall foraging, and construction. Okay. Now, these are easy enough. These are easy enough. Okay. I'm not so worried about fish. Fish is just not going to happen, but also at the same time, like, the reward for getting the fishing done is not that big of a deal to me uh, this early on. I'm not going for legendary fish, you know? Okay. Let's get this sap. I think if I just focus on the trees and stop running around and hitting everything else, I'll, uh, I'll get enough. Do, do, do. Um. So, yeah, like I said, we, uh, we, we went to Amsterdam. It was a blast. I'll probably end up talking about that a lot over the next several recording sessions. You know, what do you do? You go on a trip and you want to talk about it. Um, we had a ton of fun. Um, we stayed in like the south of Amsterdam like we were in the city we were just far enough outside of like the city center that it wasn't too um, crazy but you know it was we hop on a train um, like a like an inner city train <clears throat> inner city train like a tram and um, we uh, you know we were able to get into the heart of Amsterdam within 
15 minutes, you know, on that train, which for a train that stops all the time is, is pretty dang fast. Um, so uh, that was a uh, ton of fun. There was this little, you know, it's funny. We're, uh, you know, tourists. Is this going to build back up? Yeah, okay. We're tourists, so of course we're kind of touristy. And uh, we would go to this place every morning because it was just down the street from us. It was kind of a chain. So, like, you know, not like we're really, like, immersing ourselves in the culture in that way. But um, it was this place just called Bagels and Beans. I'm sure if you're in Europe, you probably know what that is, is my guess. Um, or at least if you're in the Netherlands, because there were a bunch of them uh, in and around Amsterdam. And um, we would go there every morning because they just had really good bagels and coffee. Um, and uh, that was kind of how we would start our day. And we were staying in a place... Right next to, like it was, like I said, it was just uh, outside of, or I mean, just outside of like the city proper of Amsterdam. Oh, I need to. Let's just get rid of these for now. I'm sure I have more seats. Um, so um, it was kind of a little more green, a little more like there's a little park and stuff like that, uh, which was nice. Um, we uh, we were just right across a canal from the rest of the city. Come on. Let me chop this one. Thank you. Um, so, uh, that was really cute. We were able to go over there. There were, you know, um, ducks and things, which over there, y'all have different ducks and different crows. Don't know if y'all know that, but I noticed it. Uh, they definitely look different, um, which is neat. And um, so we, we got to kind of, you know, enjoy looking at the, the animals and kind of go and like relax out there a little bit. Um, the place we were staying was super nice. Chrissy found this fantastic Airbnb. Uh, it was, it was so gorgeous. Um, it had a little balcony so we could sit out there and whatnot. Um, it was, it was a fantastic experience. We both had a ton of fun. Uh -huh. And, you know, we're already planning, like, we want to go back. We're probably going to go there, uh, for our honeymoon. Um, just because, like I said, we had such a good time. Um, it's a fantastic country, fantastic city. Um, we just had such a blast. Uh, okay, let me... I bought cauliflower seeds, didn't I? And I can't even use them. I told myself earlier today, I don't need these. They take 12 days. They might be done. If I plant them today, they may be done in time. Since I already bought them. You know, I might as well. We're going to be cutting it close today. I need to make... Oh, cool. I was able to make one. Let's... Uh, drop these for now. Let's build those. Drop that for now. Okay, so we are going to very quickly... We're going to put down another Scarecrow here. We are going to... Um, let's plant our parsnips first. Come on. There we go. Um, I'll get to watering in just a moment. Because I'm going to have to go over and uh, get more water here in a second anyways. Okay, then let's at least put some of that down. Let's go get our cauliflower seeds. I'm just hoping that my energy builds up enough that I can still handle all of this. Um, it's only 11. We've got technically three more hours. I think we'll be able to make this work. Um... So yeah, then, um, you know, what did we do? We spent uh, a lot of time going to, um, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Um, going to like museums, walking around, trying restaurants. Um, there were so many cool places, like little, you know, y'all over there in Europe have some of the most gorgeous buildings. Like they've been around for <laughs> like 1200, 1800 years, you know, um, there was this cathedral that we, um, we actually had like a lunch in there as part of like Chrissy's, um, work event. And, uh, so it was crazy. Like they had filled it with tables and things and we were just all sitting around. Um, really, really gorgeous. Like such a privilege to be able to go and, um, check out that place. Oh my gosh. I had so much sap. That's fine. That's fine. Like that's not a problem that I spent today getting wood. That just saves me for other times. Okay. 
Let's go back inside. Let's go to sleep. Uh, do, 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 do. And we will go for another day. Wait, did I not plant? Hold on. I didn't plant the cauliflowers. Woo, y'all were like, Price. Price, no. Price, why would you? Gotcha. Fooled you. Fooled you. I fooled you. Got you. All right. Okay, so we'll go to bed. Maybe we'll go mining this next day because Pierre's is closed anyway. So even if we get stuff, we're not going to be able to sell it or use it. Okay. What's tomorrow going to be like? It's going to be beautiful and sunny. Okay. So, ah, oh, what a day. Where's my cursor? Went off screen. All right. So let's gather these up. And it's time to water. And then we'll, uh, like I said, we'll go, uh, we'll go mining, I think, today. So yeah, y'all have all these old buildings. You have all this history everywhere. Like, I mean, we went on this, um, so we didn't only go to the, uh, to, um, Amsterdam, but we also went to the Hague. And, um, that city is also gorgeous, like in, in a different way. Um, but so neat. So that was a lot of fun. Um, getting to go there. So, you know, getting to see a couple of different places, not just stuck in Amsterdam. I say stuck, <laughs> not stuck. It was fantastic. Um, so, uh, just that, we, we went on this little tour around the city, and so, like, they kind of run you through, you know, the history, what are the important buildings, you know, what are the places there, and so that's kind of where, it's like the political center, I guess, of, um, of the Netherlands, whereas, like, uh, Amsterdam is more, like, financial, I guess? I don't know, some people were telling us, but I, I, I may be remembering wrong. But anyway, so because they're organized in those different ways, like they are just such different cities. Um, and y'all, uh, in the cities, y'all's streets are so close together. And like your blocks are so close and all the buildings are so close. And like, I get it, you know, as our tour guide was saying, and as you know, everybody can kind of guess, um, it's because, you know, y'all have had these cities for so long that people, you know, before any kind of like, long-term travel you know like it would have been like horses and stuff and even then like uh that's only like for certain individuals and everything like that right like not everybody had a horse not everybody was able to have that luxury um so um the cities are very small everything's like close together i say small like there's still tons of people living there there's still you know so much going on but just small in terms of like packed together which was such an interesting difference for us um, because we're so used to like here in America where everything is so spread out and there's so much space and everything's so big like when you hear that whole thing about like oh everything's bigger in Texas or everything's bigger in America you know you kind of don't fully get the extent to which uh, that's true <laughs> um, shouldn't need my axe shouldn't need my scythe I'll take my rod because I'll probably want to fish well actually Am I going to want to do that, or should I make a decision that I'm not going to fish at all and we're just going to go in the mines? Let's just go in the mines. All right? We're being... We're, we're, we're making a decision. All right, cool. I got tons of wood, tons of stone, tons of sap. That's great. Um, oh, do I have six green beans here? Why do I think I have those? Did I think I needed them for something? Because I definitely don't. I just need parsnips for this season. So we're going to sell those. Um, and then, yeah, let's head to the mines. It's Wednesday, so Pierre's should not be open. Tomorrow, we'll go give a gift to Sophia and we'll talk to her. I know that I'm not optimizing the relationship stuff. I never do, if you've watched me <laughs> play this stuff before. Ah, oh, that tea. So good. Now... I am curious, because when we played on the main map, we were actually able to open the mines up pretty quickly. So, where is that? It's here, here. Greenhouse, Bridge Repair, Minecarts. Oh, so it's Blacksmith. Easy. Okay, so this one I should be able to do within the next season. Um, okay. Moving on. So, uh, that was neat. We, uh... Uh, in uh, The Hague that we went to the beach, um, which is not that far away and 
It's gorgeous. I mean, obviously everything in the Netherlands is like so close to water, um, which is neat. And um, so we went down to the beach and, uh, for the event. We actually went two days down to the beach. Um, and oh, oh, hello, Lewis. Got to get ready for my Jacksepticeye voice. It won't be perfect. Good day, Price. Ah, <sighs> Morris promised Jojo would clear away the rock slide by now. Susan is trapped at home and can't get out except via train. Now he's telling me the cleanup operation is delayed until early summer. My hands are tied. As the mayor of Pelican Town, it's my duty to ensure everyone is safe. That was about safe. Morris and I will reach a resolution regarding the rock slide soon. I'm just relieved no one was hurt during the rock slide. Ah, oh, that's bad. I'm not doing it right, y'all. My throat. I must be on my way, Price. Don't bother using your pickaxe to try to remove these rocks. It would take you months. All right. We get it. We get it. Okay. So, uh, like I was saying, we went down to the beach for um, Chrissy's work event. And um, we basically, we played like camp games. You know, we were like uh, running around an obstacle kind of course thing. Uh, tug of war. Um, having to like use like slingshots to launch some little like tennis ball type. Or not tennis balls, but more like a, um, like a soft soccer ball, mini soccer ball. I don't even know how to what it would be um but uh so that was a ton of fun like i haven't done you know activities like that in a long time because like it's not something you usually do when you're up in your 30s um so it was a ton of fun and i got to be like really active and competitive and um i uh i actually kind of exceeded some people's expectations they were like oh wow price you really went for it and i can't help it y'all once i get into like jock mode because <laughs> of uh my playing football and everything like that in uh in high school like once i get into that jock mode i just like get so competitive and i just won't stop and i'll go full speed and like i don't know it's kind of fun there's something about it that's fun um oh oh that was close I, there was a little uh a little worrisome thing there let's uh move you there might eat that daffodil just to get rid of it. All right, where y'all at? Need to fight a bunch of y'all for quest-related things. Oh, give me your slime. There we go. Okay. I'm looking around for more copper. And so now we just want, we want to do our best to get down to gold level um, soon-ish. Um, you know, it's still going to take quite a bit, but. Um, if we can get down to gold level, we'll start being able to work towards, like, sprinklers and things. So, uh, you know. So now that I I love that I'm finding the, um, you know, knock on fake wood. Um, I love that I'm finding all of these, um... Oh, gosh. Let's get rid of you. Uh, ladders pretty quickly. So then I can just look around for the actual ores and then get the heck out of here. Which, no more ores. Um, 